this. This is Dmitry Moldavsky, pilot of the Ragana. We are a simple transport ship heading to New Homestead. We do not want any trouble. <laughs> boy, do I have some bad news for you, boy. <laughs> you have a crew man on board I'm looking for. Alright. And what are your intentions with this crew man? I just want to talk to him. Fleet wants Austin ranked dead. I went to board this ship and talk about how to spare him. Well, normally I would say no, but frankly it will be safer for us that way. Alright, you can dock. We will talk then. Okay. Whoa! My ship is constantly going at high speeds. I just, I just fucked that ship up. I keep on, like, in the cutscene, my ship is, like, stationary, but then, like, when we're out, my ship is, like, moving at high speeds. Why? <laughs> no, I said dock him. The cutscene gave me well not cutscene. I don't want to cut it like the dialogue part cutscene, whatever. It's like give me it give my ship a push at at the end. It's like alright, you're done with dialogue. Woof, there you go. Off into the wild. <laughs> okay. I look so tired. <laughs> Oh, I better get into. Mm. Well, no. What's the name of my armor again? For my spacesuit. Okay. I don't want anything to say. Get rid of the helmet. Put something else on. Uh, oh. <laughs> Just have a helmet that just says Vanguard on it. Hey, Vanguard, Vanguard. <laughs> I put this one on. I got no. You think they'll? You think they'll recognize my constellation put back? Nah. No, what well, they probably might recognize the colors. Yeah, take it off. Change it. Put this on. Okay, there you go. It's a good thing I realized that. I don't know if they're gonna call me out on my outfit or what, but just be professional, you know. <laughs> You're an agent. Come on, don't dress up as the police. I am not sure what to make of you being here wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. <laughs> just tell me which one of you are Austin Rank. That is not something I am going to do. Not until you reveal your intentions. As far as you are concerned, I am Austin Rank. You want him? You're going to have to kill me. Okay. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? Well, he joined the Crimson Fleet, and I'm afraid that there's no way to get out of Crimson Fleet. Uh, Austin Rank is a Crimson Fleet pirate. Kill him, and I'll let you go. No, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, why risk your lives to protect Rake? I will not murder a man in cold blood. You will have to kill us all first. Hmm. The fleet won't wreck dead, but I want to resolve this without violence. You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? 
No, I don't. And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. Okay. Found out about the deal, I suppose. Uh, deliver him to says death. If the fleet find out about this, then we'll be we'll be both disposed. Yeah. As long as he agreed to turn himself in. Yeah, deliver him to says death. If the fleet find out about this deal, we're both disposed. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. No. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. Okay. So you're Rick, huh? So you're the... If you ever get to the key, you better sleep with one eye open and two pistols loaded. Okay. Thank you for letting us go. I thought we were dead. I can't believe it. Nah, I'm not gonna kill nobody. This unpleasantness aside, the people of New Homestead will be grateful for these supplies. Good. Sure. This unpleasant... Thank you for letting us go. All right. So now what? They're gonna put me in a cis death prison? I'm not saying it's worse than death, but it's pretty damn close. I'm sorry, man. You joined the Christmas fleet. I don't know what to tell you. You shouldn't have done that. Okay. Crash! I never had it like this, I had it like that. I hit it from the back and I switch it up. Shoulda never had it like this, I had it like this. The damn Mercs just don't know how to take a hit. Hey, Rook, wanna help me with some target practice? Sure. Ooh. Come on, come on. Get him. Locking, locking. I'm gonna break you open. Ah. Come on, Frontier. You don't know who you're messing with. Woo hoo hoo. Almost had him. Come on, 
Get in there. Motherfucker is dead. Huh. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. Anyway, you wanted into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? Loud and clear. Best decision you ever made. Yeah? Last person who said that was Rake. So you've already dug yourself a hole about six feet deep. And now that you know the deal, Time to see what you signed up for. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls it home. Uh huh. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Whoa! See, it's like, it's like whenever we get into like these cutscenes, dialogue, dialogue cutscenes, it's like it gives my ship like a little boost. Like, here you go. Like, whoa, whoa, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> like, I was like right in front of her, too. <laughs> I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Let's go. Hey. Hail acknowledged. You're clear to dock at docking port one. The commander will be waiting for you in operations. Did it crash? Commander Ikande wants to see you. Follow me. Okay. So how have you been? I had a friend on the Regatta. Oh? I we'll be able to see him next time on shore leave. Hmm, okay. Hope so too. Hope you get to see him. Can I make some coffee? Is that okay with everybody? Uh, I guess not. Hey. Once we get rid of all the pirates, the galaxy will be a better place. Uh, we'll see. First mission on the books and no casualties. Good work. Hey. You have permission to speak freely. What can I do for you? Uh, we got the message from the Regana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port of the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. Glad he surrendered. I didn't want to kill anyone innocent or otherwise. That's a smart line to follow. Part of this role you're playing means having to make hard choices. I know. Just remember not to lose yourself in the part. I told you I wouldn't. Oh, one more thing before we move on. Yes, sir. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. 
Oh! I was concerned after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. Ah! Uh. Okay. <clears throat> 